All right, we're gonna go over some three wire sensor testing. Uh, I picked an easy one. We're just looking at the throttle position sensor, but uh, they're all pretty much the same. If you have a three wire sensor, most of the time uh, you wanna look at service information, but you're gonna have a five volt feed, a ground and a sensor signal wire. Uh, in this case, with it disconnected, the sensor signal voltage is zero. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna verify that the circuit integrity is good using some real low tech tools, in this case, a paper clip. Uh, so I'm just gonna jumper the five volt feed to the signal wire. And you can see on the graph, it goes up to five volts. So that tells me my, my five volt feed is good and my signal wire is good. So the only variable I'm worried about is the sensor ground. Now, if I were to plug this sensor in and it goes high, I might be concerned with the ground because the ground pulls that voltage low. And now plugged in, my voltage is about four tenths of a volt. And uh, so I know my, my sensor ground has to be good because it's pulling that voltage down. Um, so that's a quick, easy way to go through a three wire sensor. The throttle position sensor works pretty similar to the MAP sensor, or in this case, the mass airflow sensor on this vehicle. So all three of those on this vehicle can be tested the same way to verify circuitry. We know we have a, a bad part if we have everything in the circuit we need. So if we have a sensor feed, we have a sensor ground, and we can short our feed to our signal wire and cause the voltage to, to read high. We can see it on the scan tool, so I don't need to get out a scope or any other test equipment. I have a paper clip that's good enough for this test. I was able to jumper it. I know everything's good. Now I know I have a faulty throttle position sensor just like that. So, uh, you know, these sensors are pretty easy to test if you know what you're doing, but uh, I know that you can, you know, they're easy to be confused too. So I just wanted to uh, run through that really quick. Um, and like I said, the, the map sensor, which is over here, is the same thing. It's three wires, a five volt feed, a ground, and a signal. So if the, you can put five volts to the signal wire and it reads five volts on the scanner, then you know your circuit integrity is more than likely acceptable. Uh, I'll show you that quick again really quick just unplug it sensor voltage goes to zero we jumper that it goes up to five volts I take it away it goes down so that verifies my five volt feed and my signal and the grounds verified by plugging it back in and making sure that the voltage doesn't stay high when you plug it in so otherwise we are good to go so uh, I just want to run through that really quick I hope that helps some people out. Uh, I know without you know some proper training, um, you know that can be a little confusing. But there you know there's a ton of these five volt sensors on pretty much every vehicle in existence, and a five volt three three wire sensor. Pretty much all of them you test the same way. You know obviously always refer to service information, know what you're working on, know how it works. But uh, if you look up a wiring diagram, you've got a three wire sensor, you know it's got a five volt feed, a sensor ground and a signal wire. You know you can safely uh, short that five volt feed to the signal wire <clears throat> and get some kind of signal. Now, if you unplug the sensor and the voltage goes high on the signal wire, then you're gonna wanna short that signal wire to the sensor ground to pull that voltage down and you still, as long as you have access to it on a scanner, you can see that the computer is seeing what it needs to. So uh, I hope that helps. Uh, good luck.